right, Doug. Put your guitar away. It's time for bed. Do you know that music reminds me of a story? You want to hear it? Okay. Long ago, here in the South, they grew things like cotton, tobacco, and sugar cane. But they also grew indigo. What's indigo? Indigo is a flower which is used to make ink. They don't grow very much of it here anymore. Most of it is grown in India now. I'm sure you've heard of India ink. Uh-huh. Well, ink is very important. It's used to print books, magazines, newspapers, and most importantly, money. You could say it literally was a cash crop. Just imagine a field of tiny blue flowers, no taller than blades of grass. That's where bluegrass gets its name. When the slaves picked it, their hands would turn blue. So, if they sang while they were working, they were singing the blues. When they spanked their kids, that blue dye would end up on their bottoms. We'd say they were beating their kids black and blue. <laughs> now, some plantations grew both indigo and cotton. If someone still had ink on their hands and began picking cotton, it would turn some of the cotton blue. So instead of selling it, they would keep it and make their own fabric, called denim. That's why blue jeans are blue. Understand? Mom, are you making all of this up? Nope. Mr. Johnson from next door told me. And he grows indigo. Oh, by the way, he said you forgot to take your basketball home when you were done playing. Sorry, Mom. That's okay. He says you can come over and play with his son, Leroy, anytime. I like Mr. Johnson. He's really nice. Yes. Yes, he is.